And I, I'm waiting for that round of raucous applause. You know? <laughs> Somebody backstage said you're going to be waiting for a heck of a long time, Charlie. You know, one of the things that we're not hearing very much from the Biden campaign is about issues. It seems the only issue that they want to talk about is how much they hate Donald Trump. They don't want to tell us what America would look like under a Biden administration because they know if they did, people would turn on them in a minute. And one of the issues that is vitally important to the United States is the issue of China. And who's prepared to lead America forward in the face of the Chinese threat but Donald J. Trump? One of the leading experts on China is our next speaker. You know Gordon Chang because you've seen him on television numerous times. And I'm sure you know that he's the author of two books, The Great U.S.-China Tech War and his second volume, Losing South Korea. Now, both of those books are on sale here today at the ACU booth right over here. And Gordon has been kind enough to donate all of the proceeds from the sale of this book today to the ACU America versus Socialism Tour. I'm very proud to serve with Gordon on the ACU board. He is a valued board member of the ACU. He practiced law in Hong Kong and China for 30 years, and he now takes a lot of his time to give back through his television appearances and his education on this very, very vitally important issue of the Chinese threat that we confront. Ladies and gentlemen, Gordon Chang. Hello, Pennsylvania Patriots. You are great Americans. My wife and I are so proud to be with you, and we applaud you. We live at a critical moment in the history of our republic. We live at a critical moment because we are under attack. China, the People's Republic of China, is attacking us. As President Trump said on May 6, Beijing's assault is worse than Pearl Harbor, worse than the World Trade Center. Quote, there's never been an attack like this, he said on May 6. He was talking about the novel coronavirus, the China flu, and he was right. As of this morning, China killed 198,603 Americans, and more will succumb. We don't know the origin of the coronavirus. Some people say it was made in the lab. Some people said it occurred naturally. But there is one thing that we do know. We know that China deliberately spread this disease to America. Chinese leaders knew for at least five weeks, and maybe for as long as five months, that this disease could be easily transmitted from one human to the next. Now, if they had said nothing for that period, that would have been grossly irresponsible. But what they did was they engaged in a campaign of deception to show that the disease was not contagious and they successfully enlisted the help of the World Health Organization to promote this false narrative. President Donald J. Trump was absolutely right to defund the WHO and to take us out of it. But, but this story gets worse because Chinese leader Xi Jinping in December and January 
tried to persuade countries not to impose travel restrictions and quarantines on arrivals from China. But at the same time, he was locking down the city of Wuhan and other metropolises in China to prevent travel. This shows that he knew that travel restrictions would prevent disease. And this means that he knew that he was spreading the disease when he was getting other countries not to impose those measures. It was those arrivals that took a disease which should have been confined to just the central part of China and to make it a global pandemic. We do not know what Xi Jinping was in fact thinking, but if after having seen what the virus did to cripple his own country, if he wanted to level the playing field by spreading the disease elsewhere to cripple other countries, he would have done exactly what, in fact, he did. To put this another way, there's only one explanation that fits facts, and that is this was a malicious spread of the disease. Fortunately, President Trump quickly imposed a travel restriction and a quarantine on arrivals from China on January 31. But he took a lot of heat. He took a lot of heat for this from Beijing and from Beijing Biden. Beijing Biden. Beijing Biden called President Trump for imposing the travel restrictions that saved tens of thousands of American lives. Beijing Biden called Trump xenophobic. Our president now is making China pay. And we must make China pay. We must make China pay. We must make China pay because this was not just murder. This was mass murder. Now, Beijing, we need to say something to the Chinese. And what we need to say is that we must, as you say, make China pay. Say it with me. Make China pay. Make China pay. China pay. But Beijing wasn't really done yet. It's now conducting these incendiary disinformation campaigns against the United States to convince the world that the disease started in America and that we were the ones who spread it to China. We know this because of all of the reporting and also because we see China engaging in troll operations against the President of the United States. As the New York Times reported in March, Beijing tried to sow chaos in America by spreading a rumor through text messages and social media feeds that President Trump was going to invoke his powers under the Stafford Act and lock down the entire country. And China knew this was false. Let's talk about what China's doing in Houston or what it did in Houston. President Trump closed down the consulate in July. So, with all of China's consulates in the U.S., there are five of them. We're five of them. Why did he pick Houston? He picked Houston because from there, China was providing financial and logistical support to violent protesters in the United States. As Radio Free Asia has reported, an intelligence unit of the People's Liberation Army based themselves in Houston. From there, they used big data to identify Americans who would be interested in protesting in the Black Lives Matter and Antifa demonstrations. They also, in Houston, created videos and then sent them to those people who were likely to protest. And these videos told people how to riot. Subsequently, we learned that the People's Liberation Army was using technicians from Huawei Technologies, the Chinese telecom equipment manufacturer, and they were using engineers from um, TikTok, the Chinese video sharing app, to help them do this. Fomenting violence is not only subversion, it is also an act of war.
The People's Republic is our enemy. We don't have to speculate. In May of last year, People's Daily, the most authoritative publication in China, carried a piece that said that there was going to be a quote-unquote people's war against the United States. So Beijing means you and me harm. So who is fomenting violence in America? Tell me, who is fomenting violence in America? It's China. Say it, China. <laughs> who is trying to overthrow our government? Tell me, it's China. And tell me, who has spread the disease that has killed so many Americans? Tell me, it's China. Now, China's communists have been trying to subvert and attack our society for decades, so we must make China pay. And because President Trump is the first leader in decades who is defending America and making China pay, China's communists are trying to unseat him. We learned this when we found out about the network called Spamouflage Dragon, which was relentlessly attacking through social media the President of the United States. They were doing this through YouTube, through Facebook, and through Twitter. We know that social media platforms have been taking down fake Chinese accounts. Twitter, one month, June of this year, took down 174,000 fake Chinese accounts. That's one social media platform, one month, 174,000 fake accounts. China wants to get rid of Trump. They want to get rid of Trump because they're afraid of him. And they know that President Trump will defend the United States of America. We know who is Beijing's candidate. That's Beijing Biden. Beijing Biden on CNN a couple days ago at the Anderson Cooper Open Forum would not call China even an opponent. Biden has been saying that Chinese leaders are good folks. So the folks here know that there is only one man that stands between you and me and communist China. And that means everybody, four more years for President Trump. So let me hear you say it. Defend America four more years. Defend America four more years. Defend America four more years. Remember this. Thank you very much, America.